When times are tough and times are hard, someone's gotta teach the puppets about PR. Things can't stay the way they are. Someone's gotta teach the puppets about PR. When puppets want to pull the strings of the media, PR puppet theater. PR puppet theater. Hi, welcome to PR Puppet Theater. My name is David Moy, and this is the show that teaches puppets how to pull the strings of the media. Um, in this country, puppets have unfortunately been given short shrift when it comes to having information about how to promote their product, their service, or their cause. And we try and rectify this with this show. Uh, today we have as our guest Macaulay Culkin, and he's an entrepreneur that's uh, trying to push a new product. And I'm going to give him advice on how to... Uh, Best do that. Uh, why don't you tell us about your product, Macaulay? Well, it's a uh, cereal that features veggie-flavored circles. It's never been done before. Uh, what about Fruit Loops? What are those? Fruit Loops are fruit-flavored circles that are... It's a cereal based with fruit-flavored circles. <laughs> that sounds terrible! <laughs> well, it's been around for a while. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. Well, I haven't been paying attention to the news lately. been working on the product. Okay. So now... What's been the problem with you getting publicity for Veggie Circles? Well, I put some seed money into the press kit, but when I called the journalist and specializing in business or food editors and explained to them I'm an entrepreneur, I have a new cereal, they think I'm small time. Uh, I know I should hire a publicist, but between my wife, my kids, my mistress, my money on product development, I can't afford one. Well, have you actually tried to consult with a publicist. Yes. I took one out to lunch. And what did he say? Are you going to eat those fries? Uh, must have been a high-powered publicist. Now, a big-time publicist can open a lot of doors for you, and a good one will be like a pit bull nipping and biting the journalist's heels to get you press. But a bad one will simply tell you what you want to hear and make up lots of excuses on why the media isn't picking up your story. Um, now, a publicist with a lot of clients might be able to manipulate the journalist into doing a story on you in exchange for doing a story on the person they really want to do, but um, you may feel like just one bird in a tree. No, I don't want that. Now, a publicist with future clients may be able to give you that personal touch, but may not have all the resources that you'd like. Either way, it's important that you, well, whoever you choose, understand your story and what makes your product unique. Hmm, okay. That sounds great. Uh, th that's been a problem. The publicist who wanted my fries kept wanting to set me up on publicity dates with Tony the Tiger, and I just didn't feel comfortable. Now I'm that, a married man. Now, that person sounds like a one-size-fits-all type of publicity person. Well, I, I guess. Now, at this stage, you might be better off being your own publicist. Hmm. <laughs> I tried that. The press laughed at me! <laughs> well, try something different using a fake name. Um, what, is, uh, what is your middle name? Birdie. Okay, and what street did you grow up on? Uh, I didn't grow up on a street, but I did live in Jakarta Tree. A Jacaranda Tree? Something like that. Okay, well, now, Ber then let's take the porn formula that they use. It works great for PR publicists, too, since the businesses aren't too far apart. But you're now Birdie Jacaranda, and when you call up, you're calling up on behalf of your client, Macaulay Culkin. People won't recognize my, won't, won't they recognize my voice? Journalists get so many pitches a day that most of them aren't worried about um, being fired, you know, if they happen to skip on little details such as, uh, oh, this publicist just also happens to be the person who's doing the assignment. Um, they're not gonna pin, if they're not gonna pin Sarah Palin down on facts about the bridge to nowhere, they're not gonna give a crap about whether or not Bertie Jacaranda and uh, Macaulay Culkin just happen to be the same thing. Um, however, if you're worried, have someone else place the calls. Um, especially if they're British, because everybody knows British people sound smarter than Americans. Or you can pick like a, a female publicist with a really uh, sexy accent, something like French, uh, Portuguese, or Italian. Mm -hmm. My mistress is Brazilian. Perfect. Now, um, that pretty much, I hope, does that, do you have any other questions? How do I find that other bird that's selling a cereal? Follow your nose. Okay, there are no puppets in the room, so it's safe to talk. If I can te teach a puppet the basics of PR, I can do the same for you. I can help you sell your product in uh, ways that you never even thought possible. 
why don't you go ahead and look at my email. It's right here. If you have any questions, give me a call. We can work something out. And uh, I look forward to uh, helping you uh, pull the strings of the media and stop being their puppet. Closing theme to PR Puppet Theater, where the puppets learn about PR. Closing theme to PR Puppet Theater. Please, someone give this guy a job. Someone's going to post this on their blog. Someone's going to post this on your blog. Someone's going to post this on your blog. Post it on your blog.